Hello, today we are going to be taking a look at the box command, how to use it, and how it is both similar to and different from rectangle. You will shortly find that the box has a much wider range of capabilities than the rectangle command. To show you how the box command works, I'm going to show you examples of its behavior with different numbers of parameters. Additionally, in the cases of two and three parameters, I'm going to show you how rectangle operates in comparison. The example I have here to begin with should look very familiar by now. I've made a rectangle with a length of 3 and a height of 1, colored it cyan, and then displayed it. What happens when we replace rectangle with box? Let's see. After we run the program, you can see that no changes have occurred. This is because box and rectangle operate exactly the same with two parameters. But let's see when we add a third parameter. If we just add a 0.5 to our parameters list for box and go ahead and press run program, then we have just created a three-dimensional box in the first quadrant with a length of three, width of one, and a height of 0.5. It just created a 3D rectangular prism. Now, if we just change box to rectangle, what happens? Because rectangle does have a three parameter usage. We just have ourselves a round cornered rectangle. What the third parameter represents in the rectangle function represents the radius of the rounded corners. So essentially how round the corners are. Beyond this point, rectangle can take no more parameters. Box, however, has more potential behaviors with four parameters and with six parameters. When we use box with four parameters, we can create a rectangle and locate it anywhere in the xy plane with one command. I'm going to make our example object here a box with the four parameters one, four, two, and four, and then press run program. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see, and you can see that we now have a rectangle that's three units wide, and two units tall. But how did our four parameters do this and move it away from the origin of the graph? The way to explain this is that the first two parameters are the lower and upper limits of the x coordinates of the rectangle. The next two are the upper limits and the lower limits for the y coordinates. As you can see, it goes 1 on the x-axis, like 1 the first parameter, to 4. Then it goes 2, like the third parameter, to 4. So the four parameter usage of the box command is useful for making rectangles and placing them in specific locations in the xy plane. But what about the six parameter usage of box? Easy. The other two parameters just represent the upper and lower z limits for a three-dimensional box. So if we want to make our box, say, have a height of 2 and be one unit above the xy plane, then let's just add the two parameters 1 and 3 to the parameters list and press Run Program. There is our 3D box hovering in three-dimensional space. So that wraps up our lesson on the box function. Remember that box is useful for creating and positioning rectangles with four parameters and can be used to create three-dimensional objects with three or six parameters. In addition, remember the similarities that it has with the rectangle function with two or three parameters. Cheers.